Hey guys, today we're testing level four plates from RTS Tactical. Before we get into the video, I wanna let you guys know a little disclaimer. Me and Josh, we are not professionals by any means with body armor. We don't uh, know all the NIJ standards. We don't go off the NIJ standards. We just go out, we shoot these with different calibers that they're rated to and see what happens. We look at the deformity, we look at how it stops them, how many it stops, and then I cut it open later and see the inside. That way you guys can make your own decision off of this. I usually don't like to give my opinion by saying, yes, this will 100% doesn't stop a bullet and protect your life because the only way to know that is if I put it on myself and got shot with it, which is something I've definitely not going to try. So I try to do the closest thing that I can to that is I take this out, I shoot it with a bunch of different guns, different calibers, film the whole process and let you guys make your own decision off of the things that you see. Um, if you guys want to make your own decision based off your own testing, uh, purchase a plate and then go out and shoot it yourself. That is the absolute best thing you can do. But for those of you that don't want to do that, which is going to be the majority of you because they're expensive to buy, uh, you don't just want to shoot one. Um, I was lucky enough to get this plate to be able to do it to show you and hopefully help make you make a better decision on armor for yourself to protect you or your family. Uh, before we get into the full review, RTS Tactical did send this to me and I did not pay for it. Along with that, they sent me this plate carrier as well. So I'm testing plate carriers, body armor, different things like that, trying to find the best ones on the market and uh, we'll see what we think of this. So we'll go directly to the video so you guys can see it. Josh and I are out here at the range testing the RTS Tactical Level 4 plates. This is rated up to 30 at 6. We've done a lot of testing in the past with armor, so we're not going to go with the 5.56 and the 7.62s because we know these types of armor can stop those. So we're going straight to the 30 at 6, the 308, and the 7.62 by 54, uh, the big boys, and see if it'll stop those. So let's go over here. Let's look at the different guns. We've got an M1 Grand, Mosin Nagant, and an M1A that we're going to be shooting these with. And then we've got. The 308, 762 by 54, and the 30 out 6. So really big calibers, a lot of penetrating power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the 308, we're gonna work our way up, and if it stops at those three, we're just gonna restart and continue until we get something to make a hole through it. First shot is gonna be with the M1A. All right, so the first shot put a massive hole here in the front. That is huge. Uh, blew out the side a little bit so that's a lot of that pressure coming out the side but it did stop the bullet so you can see here stop that 30 6 on the side but put a big old hole here so we're going to try to shoot off to the side here to stay away from that exact same hole it's always cool to see how the energy dispenses and where it goes so everything blew out the side it doesn't look like the actual projectile came out the side because it looks like there's a lot of stuff here in the way so it doesn't look like an actual exit uh, i believe it probably just hit in here and dispersed from there so we'll try again Right there was the shot, and it did stop it as well. So you got a little bit of a bulge here in the back. Nothing too crazy, but look at that inside there. You can see all the ceramics and everything is just destroyed. So we're gonna try to keep the shots up here, but two big shots. All right, now we're gonna go with the 30 out six. So there's the shot right there. And it did not make it through. No holes. I'm not, you got a lot of energy dispersing out here at the top. So massive hole right there. So these are really in three different locations, which is good, trying to keep it away. But now that we've stopped it with all three, we're going to go back to the 308 and uh, basically make sure there is a hole in this. Uh, so we'll go through the cycle again, 308, 762, and 6. Right, so it looks like he shot right up here and it did not go through. So we'll go to the next one. Same. All right, so we shot right here. There's the hit here. Shot it right down here. Still nothing. There's the bulging that we're getting. It feels like there might be a crack somewhere in this oh it looks like it's making it pretty far because you've got the spalding out here on the sides so i don't know if it's getting right at the end and exploding out or maybe that last shot got right to the last part and blew out the sides but you're getting the spalding out here so it's definitely making it a lot farther into the armor base of this is looking pretty rough we have our first penetration right there 
So the 308 eventually made it through. So that's pretty good. Six shots, uh, two from each, the 308, the 762, and the 30 at six. Uh, but the 308 did make it through right there. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna go back to the house. We're gonna cut this thing up and see if we can't find some of the bullets. It's kind of cool. It's the first time I've ever seen this, but it looks like it's just got little squares here of ceramic put in. So I wonder if that affects if it hits right here on the crack versus a direct hit to the ceramic. So for those of you that have never seen polyethylene, this is exactly what it is. It's a bunch of thin layers of plastic that are compressed really tightly that create this armor. And it's really cool because it works really well. It's very lightweight, and it's kind of cool to actually break it open and see how far each bullet went. There's the one that went through. So I'm not able to find anything through here. I've ripped open a lot of these layers and haven't been able to actually find anything, but it gives you guys a good idea of what it looks like behind it. And then here is that behind layer. So you see kind of the marring there, and that's the one that actually got through right there. And then this is where the other ones went through but stopped down here. I hope this video helped you out because I'm sure if you're watching this video, you are trying to make a decision if you should purchase this armor. And I hope this helped you decide if you should or should not. It's good for you or not good for you uh, based off the video. Uh, again, I try to make these as unbiased as possible and just go out and shoot and help you guys make that decision on your own. So I hope that helped. Josh and I really enjoy doing body armors because how often can you just go out and shoot body armor and see what happens? Uh, so it's pretty cool to be able to go out and do that, shoot it with different calibers uh, and see what it withstands and how many rounds it could withstand as well. So it's pretty cool. Uh, and I look forward to doing more in the future. We are looking for the best body armor and plate carrier combination so that testing and process is still going on. We've got a lot of really good plate carriers that we've been testing, a lot of cool body armor that we've been shooting and testing as well. So it's been kind of a really fun process over the last year trying to figure this out. Uh, there's a lot of plate carriers and stuff on the market so it might take a little while for us to make a final decision uh, but the testing is still going along. If you guys want to help out the channel and the things that I do here there's a couple ways to do that. There's some discounts down in the description from companies that I trust. I'll give you guys a small discount and then it also gives me a small kickback as well which really helps out the channel the things that i do here another way there's a link to my website from there's a link to other websites like brownells air precision premier body armor anything you purchase using those links uh, gives me a small kickback and shows the company that i'm generating traffic which is also another really good thing for the channel and it's just a way that you can help support my channel while purchasing things that you already need or want uh, so it is greatly appreciated also appreciate it if you guys enjoy my content to subscribe that helps out a ton if not i just really appreciate you guys being here liking sharing watching my videos that does help out a lot as well Another company that supports me a ton is Howitzer. Absolutely love these guys. They've donated a ton of money to charity uh, and they're continuing to do that because they donate 5% of proceeds to charity every time that you purchase something. So that is a really cool thing that they do and they have some events and other things. They have great designs, really cool collaborations and the t-shirts are just awesome. Something that I wear all the time um, and I'm <laughs> slowly just changing my complete dresser to Howitzer shirts and pants because uh, now they have pants and that is super cool. So if you guys want to check them out, a link down in the description will be for them as well. Another company that helps support my channel and the things that I do is TA Targets. I love what they stand for as a company and the things that they do. Absolutely love their steel targets. I have my range completely full of their stuff and I'm actually building a new range here that I will be moving all my targets over there and uh, getting some new targets as well to fill that range. Uh, so I think I can do more improved training, other things like that because of the steel and uh, all the different things and designs that they come out with is very cool. So if you guys wanna check them out, I have a discount code for them and that is in the description. So I greatly appreciate TA Targets as well. Uh, the channel and everything I've been doing has been crazy busy. School is so close to being over. By the time this video gets posted live, I will probably be right at the end of school, uh, maybe a week or so left. So I'm really excited about that. Now that that is done, I will start my new job shortly after and I will be able to uh, basically get back into an actual normal routine, which would be nice. I have a new schedule. I've always worked the same work schedule for about six, seven years now. So it's gonna be really weird for me to go to this new schedule, um, but I'm really excited to try something different and get a new job and start a new position and do some new things there. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, anything about the video, uh, put it in the comments. If you guys just wanna talk, I like conversating with everybody, uh, put it in the comments or you guys can message me on Instagram or Facebook. I love uh, being able to conversate with people and just see what everyone's doing, see uh, if you guys have any questions about gun builds or you just wanna talk either way. I'm happy to do it. So I appreciate you all. Thank you for being here and I will see you later.